and mama off again, off again, off again. Munchkin and mama off again. Adventure, here we come. <laughs> That's right, y'all. This is Munchkin and I. We are in the Merida, Mexico airport and we are on our way to Mexico City. We pack everything we could have found to keep us warm because Mexico City is a far cry from the warm heat of Merida. Uh, we are going to Mexico City for the Day of the Dead Parade and we will be there for a few days after that. So come along with us as we explore Mexico City for the very first time. Watch the lady, I fasten our business. What's she fasten our business for? Go and buy business. Marley is having a salad for breakfast because she caught herself talking about she don't eat eggs no more. Ugh, I had eggs too much in my life. <laughs> I'm just having a coffee because it's early in the morning and we are on our way. Let's go. So Mexico City is a big city. It has over 22 million people. It gets comparisons to New York City a lot. And on this drive right out of the airport, we um, were in our Uber here. I could definitely see the, comp the, the comparisons there. It reminded me a lot. So, you know, even though it was a big city, I wasn't too, too, too scared of visiting because I have been to New York many times before as a teenager and in my early 20s. Um, so, you know, I could definitely see where people draw the comparison because we definitely saw everything from the graffiti covered buildings to the high rises to the insane traffic that was definitely evident um, here in Mexico City. Uh, it was an interesting choice for our first leg of this world tour of just two of us because I'm just saying even though I've been to Mexico to New York before Mexico City is um, somewhere that's you know you can get swallowed up and overwhelmed I had just watched a video doing my research of another lady who visited Mexico City from Playa del Carmen and she was crying she was overwhelmed and I was just like this is an interesting choice for my first stop with just me and Munchkin traveling together right but I always heard that it was one of the places to visit if you want to take part in the Day of the Dead celebrations and so I was like why not when my friend um said you know let's go to mexico city i was like sure why not this is me saying yes to all the adventurous things to do right now good morning good morning um we're in mexico city everybody has sleep so me so this is the next morning after travel because that first day we were all just like yeah that first day was a wrap we just slept so this is the Airbnb that my friend Tremise booked it was very tight it reminded me of the Airbnbs in Colombia <laughs> Colombia people them use up every little inch of space and this was kind of like that you can see like the dining table is right in the living room here like you pull out the chair in the living room so <laughs> that was very interesting but the location could not be beat because we were only one block away from the day of the dead parade and i really really enjoyed that because nobody wants to be at a parade standing all day long and you need a bathroom break or even just a minute to go refresh and you you have you're far away you know what i mean so it was a two bed two and a half bath so this is the half bath that you're seeing there um, it had this tiny little living dining situation which got woolly for use like the girls were in there making a mess because the bed the couch falls out into a day bed and so they were in there um, doing their little sleepovers this is me at munchkin room munchkin asleep munchkin asleep because you as you saw this is early in the morning so we shared this room and then our bathroom is over in the corner here our bathroom was nice and big and spacious i appreciated that i won't tell no lie it did have a funky little smell coming from the the um what is that the drain hole that is in the floor that was kind of interesting yeah that drain hole right there why is there a drain hole right there and why is there a funky smell coming from it the rest of the tour you can find on Tremise's channel. I will leave that link in the description. She will also let you know where to book if you want this Airbnb. Mommy and I just walked to a place that they say has really good fish tacos on Google Maps. So I hope that's true. This is my first calorie since morning. A beer. That's all. And Munchkin's having party shoes, which she says very good. Perfect, it's so cold. 
place. It's called El Pescadito. And I'm going to have a fish taco and a shrimp taco. And Marley has decided to try the shrimp quesadilla. There go Marley. So I'm sitting right at the front of the restaurant because the further in you go, the fish smell really hits you. So I'm staying right here. Um, our first restaurant in Mexico City because last night they didn't come we came in yesterday and yesterday was a total bust in terms of being very tired all right last night we came in and I had McDonald's that's really what I was craving and they had Chinese food from a food court in the mall so it was next nice. Marley can you do the order for me please so one fish taco one shrimp taco and a shrimp quesadilla here, I think I'll have to, you have to pay, get the money just in case I have to pay at the same time. Oh, I'll do now, okay. So, so just put in the order. So first impressions of Mexico City is, I kinda like it so far, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it. I'm gonna bring it out closer. So, I didn't walk with the mic. I'll do better next time on that. Um, I kind of like it, like driving in from the airport, we definitely drove through some of the grimier parts. And then now we are in smack dab of the posh up to, well no, from what I've researched on YouTube, it can get even more posh than where we are, because we are not in Polanco, which is, if you search best neighborhoods in Mexico City, Polanco is the one that always jumps out. We are not there, we are close to Paseo de la Reforma, right by the Angel of Independence statue, we are pretty much right there. And I like that location because the parade, the Dia de Muertos parade, is going to pass right by there tomorrow. So, our first taste of yummy! Okay, Yeah, yes. okay. So I just got my fish and my shrimp tacos and I am going to go get all my toppings to put on it. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So this is what my tacos are looking like. I didn't expect that they were going to be in batter, but I'm going to give it a try and see what it's giving. I have my lime to squeeze on top. I put some coleslaw and some pepper sauce because of course that's right. Let's see what it's giving. First bite of Mexican food in Mexico City. People keep telling me, man, this is a place for Mexican food. And I say, better be better than what was given in, in Merida. I can't tell which one is the shrimp and which one is the fish. Mm. What you put on it? So is an island. Let's see if we can look at the shop. Yeah. So I want to see your first bite. That shrimp sure looks good. It's not as battered as mine. Okay, now is my real first bite. It's hot. That's good. I can't pick it up. No, why is it going that way? Okay. No. Oh. Because that was just pure dough a while ago. Look at that. The 
this is good. I'd come back here. Would you? She said, yeah. You know the food of one. That is a bit near. She only want. There was she did want. Pancake and waffle. On our walk back to the Airbnb, we passed the cutest little coffee shop, deli, I'm not quite sure because they had a window so that you can just walk up and order some stuff and that's what we did. I got a tiramisu and we got some dessert options for Munchkin and for the folks back in the Airbnb. And so this is kind of like what the, the place looks like. It was giving. I was feeling really uptown, big city life, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we have our desserts. Girl, you don't see much more black people in Mexico City than you will see in Merida for sure. Mm. And they are not black people in because they didn't even say hi. Right. This is our six Starbucks that we have passed in like a two minute block. My husband's birthday. I'm serious. Oh, can we cross here? Yeah. Oh, hold on. You missed it. You were fast. Okay, so let's wait again. Oh, I want to bike around the city. <laughs> and let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's huh? Uh -huh. He was a black person in either. No? He was a black person in either. He looked at me and looked away. He didn't do the head now. Oh, we can come here later to get our face painted. Yeah, I want to get my face painted for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. That's why I said don't move. The Angel of Independence is right behind me. Can y'all see it? Tour bus is about to go by. We're definitely getting on that at some point. We did not, in fact, get on the tour bus, and I didn't even go back out to get a proper picture in front of the Angel of Independence monument because your girl got sick right after the Day of the Dead parade. I don't know if it was the street food. I don't know if it was the cold. Look here in a man. Two out of our three days was just dead. Ugh. I wonder if they, like, plant and replant flowers in the middle section there for the seasons because those are marigolds and I know marigolds let me see if I can zoom in yeah those are marigolds in the middle there and they are you know especially for like Dia de Muertos festivities you'll see them on every ofrenda so I wonder if they were here last month some more thoughts on Mexico City. I can appreciate how clean it was and how walkable it was for such a big city. So I can see where if I lived and worked in the same neighborhood, then I'd be fine. I wouldn't need to really travel outside of my neighborhood for much. I could walk to restaurants, cafes, pharmacies, bars, um, entertainment. There's a mall right there. Anything that you want, is really and truly like I'm not exaggerating when I said there were maybe six or eight Starbucks within walking distance from our Airbnb there was street food on every corner you will see that um, later on in this video this bench I don't know what this bench was for but it certainly came in handy for the parade I'll tell you that much but outside of that the traffic in mexico city no no we couldn't deal with that and i, I definitely couldn't deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis if i had to do it for work oh hell nah i mean i guess of course people use what they have they there there's a very good bus system with like bus only lanes there is a metro so you can take trains to do whatever you want to do there there are these bikes that you can rent around although as much as i was like oh i want to bike around the city i don't know if i would feel comfortable i mean i guess i'd get used to it biking in such a big city with the traffic where the traffic goes absolutely insane like i hear people say that they are afraid to drive in merida merida is fine as a jamaican i thought we could have drive anyway listen to me me not rent no car at mexico city no 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 nope 
Like look at the bottleneck right there. I'm about to zoom in. The ambulance can get through and I've seen this multiple times in the few days that I'm here like there's an ambulance or an emergency vehicle trying to get through and them just can't move they can't run away like that's insane but yes it is a very very vibrant city they, it's very clean you see these people in um, bright green the sanitization people the sanitation people am I saying that right they are out and about every day, morning to night, making sure that the streets are kept clean. And I really appreciated that coming from Jamaica, trust me. <laughs> Anyways, um, there was no smell of urine, let me nice it up. Anywhere, you know, well, where I was walking anyway, you could just walk and feel good in the place. I didn't like the cold, as I said, I got sick. You might be hearing a little bit of stuffiness in my voice still. But yeah, um, it was a melting pot. We saw mo many more other cultures. The black people were not black people in, as you heard Munchkin said. Like, I guess because it's such a big city and everybody's used to people just coming and going, you know, nobody said hi. And we are definitely used to being in Merida where you see another black person, you immediately strike up a conversation. Like, hi, what are you doing here? Where are you from? Blah, 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 blah. No, no, that never did I go on in <laughs> Mexico City. And then I guess I would, I would expect the same in New York. So it was definitely giving big city vibes okay after a cute little siesta back at the Airbnb we are back out on the streets about to see what the Mexico City nightlife is like now not nightlife like party party nightlife may all Oman yes we just about to walk around and see what it's giving because it's a festive atmosphere out here they buying phone cases And I saw a man selling elote and I have been dying to try a proper elote like on the Yasa the, the last one I got I want the rose corn kind and I saw it and I'm gonna get it tonight but let's walk these streets and see what we can get into who's that <laughs> let's walk these streets and see what we can get into are these real oh they're candles <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> then let me tell you how these two people white top and yellow and white stripe sweater just there um walk with down a little bit later in another video they they heard us speaking english and i guess they wanted to have some kind of language exchange with us that was kind of weird anyway this street is a little alleyway right off of um paseo de la reforma which is just vibrant with all these vendors and street food. It's where we tried Elote and Marquesita from Mexico City. We had, I mean, I remember everything we had. We had the meat skewers that you saw. We had um, taquitas, gorditas, um, sabolipa things. We tried a bunch of different things from this little street and it was all yummy. I really did love this little street here because you could eat on the low low and the food was good it was also lined with all kind of bars and restaurants like if you're looking for a nightlife but close to the Airbnb watch them watch them again you see them <laughs> um, yeah you could definitely get into some stuff on the street here Holipa, cervezas and tequila and there was lots going on it, there was a lot like you could easily get overwhelmed on the street but my thugs we used to this when I'm new to this you from Mexico? yes from Mexico okay Did you me? Uh, my name is Emiliana okay nice to meet you my name is Monique Monique? yes <laughs> okay. where my friends go I don't want to leave them what are you guys doing? Uh, um, <laughs> um, how do you say? ¿Qué está haciendo? Uh, um, we are drinking some uh, drinks. <laughs> Where? What? Donde? <laughs> um, here. Down there? Right. Oh, yeah. okay. And you? What are you doing? We're just walking. <laughs> Oops. Oh, we can get our face painted. Mexico is so It is. Yeah. 
I'm truly sure that they were harmless. Nothing was happening. They just heard us speaking English and wanted to like practice. But the Jamaican in me, me not, me not really trust people in it anyway. It was just like kind of giving weird vibes. And I was just like, nope, <laughs> I took that opportunity to skedaddle from them, get going. This is where I'm telling my friends like, yeah, two little scam I get. Oh, no, no, I didn't say that. But anyways, we got my nice clean daughter for actually being the translator there because, you know, I was just not in. Like my brain was going in a different direction than to be able to speak with them. I was not in a you know um, any kind of mental state to be having a conversation like trying to find Spanish words because me think certain people also get me that's what was going on in my head like in big big Mexico City and coming from Jamaica that was what's going in my head anyway so we saw Marquisitas and of course coming from Merida we had to try them I'm not gonna tell a lie Merida the one that did nice enough food on Jaja the food in Mexico City was definitely giving more than Merida <sighs> I did hear that. I did hear that the Mexican, um, the Mexico City food was gonna be better, and I was gonna come back to Merida and be like, womp womp womp. Got it. Yeah, you got it. My first part of an elote in Mexico City. Mmm. <laughs> so good. She not cultured. <laughs> the kid does not like traditional Mexican food. What can I say? I can't fight her on it. We ended the night here with a couple of hamburguesas. Make sure to subscribe. Day two from Mexico City is coming up next.